Well, hello everyone. Here we are again with the 2.5 liter four cylinder Jeep engine. Um, making progress today, we're installing the timing sprockets here. So this is the camshaft sprocket and this here is the crankshaft sprocket. So these two, as you turn the one here, the other one turns as well, right? So, so that's how the engine times the valves and the cylinders as they open and close and go up and down. All right, and there's little timing marks on here. So what you do is you, you turn the engine and you have to line up the timing marks. So first of all, cylinder number one must be at top dead center, which is this one right here. Okay, so cylinder one, top dead center. Then you have to find your two timing marks on each of the sprockets, which is right there. There's that little little mark and there, that little mark right there, right? So you see the one and the other are pointing at each other here and here, all right? So once you have those lined up, I mean, technically you're timed, right? Well, as you read the manual, there's different ways to check and make sure that uh, you did your timing correctly, that you're right on the dot. Um, the one check that I like is you turn the crankshaft bolt until the camshaft mark is at the one o'clock position, all right? So let's do that. So we're gonna start cranking here. Crankshaft, we're at about nine o'clock. There we're about the 12 o'clock mark, right? All right. So I'm gonna turn it just a little bit more until about the one o'clock mark. So that's about one o'clock. I'll show you a little closer here. So you see right there, there's the mark. And if you look straight at it, this is about the one o'clock mark, right? Looks one o'clock-ish to me. So when you do that, the crankshaft mark should be rotated to the three o'clock position, which is about right there. So we're about the three o'clock position. Now, the last thing that you do that they tell you is to count the pins in between. You count the pins in between the two marks and there should be 20 pins. So, so let's go here and I'll, I'll count them here. So let's see if we can stay about right there. Seems good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Right, so between this mark and this mark, there are 20 pins on the chain, okay? Now, if you do that, if you line your marks up, then you rotate to the three o'clock position, or the one o'clock position on the camshaft, and that lands your crankshaft at three o'clock, and then you count the pins in between and there's 20. According to the manuals, you're timed. So now we can drop in all of the lifters and everything else and get ready for the head install. Have a good day.